The charges, sir, I'll hear them again. My lord, His Majesty's court contends that the defendants, Mary Reed and Anne Bonney, did piratically, feloniously, and in an hostile manner attack, engage, and take seven certain fishing boats. Secondly, this court contends that the defendants lurked upon the high seas and did set upon, shoot at, and take to certain merchant sloops, thus putting the captains and their crews in corporeal fear of their lives. Edward James Kenway, born of motley parentage in Swansea, to an English father and Welsh mother, married at 18 to Miss Caroline Scott, now estranged. She's a beautiful woman, I am told, but not at all well these days. If you touch her, you bastard, I'll... Quite a surprise finding you here rotting in a Jamaican prison. We heard rumors that you had taken up with the pirate Roberts. If you know the observatory's location, tell us now, and you'll be out of here in a flash. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay, for a time. But this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. You, Mary Reed and Anne Bonny, are to go from hence to the place from whence you came, and from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead, dead! Oh, Ross! May God in his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls! We're pregnant! Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? They plead their bellies, my lord. Aye, you can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true, then your executions will be stayed, but only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the duff the next time you come knocking. Remove them! Kenmore, Conway. It's Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumor going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Well, whatever his name, gotta make sure he suffers without dying. Orders from the governor. And back to the prisons at sundown. And massage his feet if he's aching, shall I? Jesus. A shit detail as ever was. Can't they kill the bastard? and been a good hanging for months, not since Rackham got his. Hey, hard to understand how it works. I've heard it said they scooped up Captain Vane near a year ago. Hey! We've not seen this is a warning! Good morning, Captain Kenway. Hey! I have a gift for you. Do not mistake my purpose here. I have come for Anne and Mary, and you owe me nothing for this. Ah. But if you would lend me your aid, I can promise you safe passage from this place. I'll need weapons. You are comfortable with this, I am told. We must hurry.
wind you'd been discovered and brought here. Didn't hear what happened after, though. Don't me! Best of luck to you, mate. I wish we'd parted as friends. Hold you! Where are you going? He's a friend. What's wrong with Mary? She's ill. And her child? They took her. No idea where. Oh! 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 I know it pains, my lady, but we must be silent. Can you walk? Oh! Oh! Lean on me, Mary. Come on. I can't. Search every cell! Come on, that's it. You're all right. Stop. Stop, please. I hate leaving you, damn it. Oh. Lift your arm. It's no good. There's no one here! I ain't even you know her. No bloody way. Put me down, Edward. Don't die on my account. Go. This is such a pain in the ass. Damn it. You should have been the one to outlast me. I've done my part. Will you? If you came with me, I could. Mary. I'll be with you, can we? What's happened to Mary? What's wrong? Is she gone? Oh no. Oh God! Oh. Uh. Uh. What will you do now? Nothing sensible.
You haven't earned this, but... They suit you. Good fortune to you, Edward Kenway. See some color first. Will this do? In all your years out here, you could never achieve what I've done in one fifth the time. Because you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness is your disease. That's my prize, Roberts. I'll give it here! <laughs> Remember my creed, boy. A short life and a merry one, that is all. The world owes us nothing more than this. So take what you will, and then die before you live to see yourself made a fool. Give it here. That's right, boy. Take it. I'll sweeten you, maggot. I'll cut you down! Oh. Oh. Calm, little puppy. And slink back to your kennel. You haven't the metal for my brand of madness. Robert! Welcome aboard, Kenway. It's prizes, plunder, and adventure ahead. Are you game? Out of my way, Ben. Raise a glass to freedom, lads. Here's to gentlemen of fortune and women of leisure. To a world full of rogues better than all the kings and queens that kick us about. As gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. What man with a sensible mind would choose the former life? For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find tis better to be a commander than a common man! with the idea that he too was just as strong and capable. So, with a great flapping and rustling of feathers, the jackdaw came down swiftly and clutched at the coat of a large ram. But when he tried to fly away, he found he could not lift the animal, for his size and strength were not up to the task. And even as the jackdaw struggled, the ram hardly noticed he was there. Nearby, just across the field, the shepherd saw the fluttering bird and was quite amused. Running up, he captured the jackdaw and clipped its wings. That evening, he gave the jackdaw to his children as a gift. What an odd little bird this is, father, they laughed and shouted. What do you call him? This is a jackdaw, the father said. He would claim to be an eagle. Two years! You promised me! 
you left when I needed you the most. But you had me. What keeps you wondering? Do I not make you happy? I'm so close, Caroline. Please, just let me do this. Is everything you do outspy, Edward? It's not spite that's driving me, Mary. It's courage. Courage for what, man? There's no one left in your life to care. God damn you all. I can handle this. Lout. Always tearing down when you could be building things up. Or building yourself up, if nothing else. Just leave me be! Change course, Edward! Change your bloody course before it's too late! Captain Kenway! You look like a bowl of plumbed off. Christ! Oh, I've got a head for ten. On your feet! You put me on the spot, Addy. After leaving me with Robert, I shall have hard feelings about seeing you here. But mostly I'm bloody glad. <laughs> me too, brother. And you'll be chuffed to know your jackdaw is still in one piece. So we set sail. You're leaving. Aye, Edward. But I have another calling elsewhere. Ade, listen. When your heart and your head are ready, visit the assassins. I think you'll understand then. Jesus, Addy, what the hell happened here? You happened here, Edward. The damage you caused six years ago has not been undone. I'm not an easy man to call a friend, am I? Is that why you're here? To fight beside a man so driven by personal gain and glory is a hard thing, Edward. And I have come to feel the assassins and their creed a more honorable course. Have I been unfair? No. For years I've been rushing around taking whatever I fancied, not giving a tinker's curse for those I hurt. And yet here I am, with riches and a reputation, feeling no wiser than when I left home. Yet when I turn around, look at the course I've run, there's not a man or woman that I love left standing beside me. There is time to make amends, Captain Ken. Mary. Before she died, she asked me to do good by her. To sort out the mess I made. Can you help me? Mary was fond of you, Edward. She saw something in your bearing that gave her hope you might one day fight with us. Aye. She told me. And what do you think of our creed? It's hard to say. For if nothing is true, then why believe anything? And if everything is permitted, why not chase every desire? Why indeed? It might be that this idea is only the beginning of wisdom, not its final form. That's quite a step up from the Edward I met here many years ago. So what do you think? It'll take some getting used to. The second attack this month, I should have moved this village long ago. I brought all this upon you years ago, but I will stand by you now. It will take more than a few favors to call yourself a true assassin, Edward. One thing at a time, mate.
more. Come. To the beach. Fish and the Stay close. Follow my lead. Jan Numuk Awo Yetel Apinshan. And once more you have our thanks, Edward. You are welcome here. Thank you, sir. I'll rest here for a time before setting out, if I may. How's her child? She is a strong woman, but not invincible. I'm sorry for your loss. If I'd stayed in prison, they'd have taken him from me. He'd never be alive. Maybe this is God's way of saying I'm not fit to be a mother yet. Carrying on like I do. Cursing and drinking and fighting. You are a fighter, I. In prison. I heard stories of the infamous Anne Bonny and Mary Reed taking on the King's Navy together. Just the pair of you. It's all true. Anne would have won that day if Jack and his lads were passed out in the hold from drink. It's right. Everyone's gone, aren't they? Mary, Raccoon, Touch. All the rest. I miss them so. Rough as they were. Do you feel that too? All empty inside. I do. Devil curse me. I do. I know my targets by sight well enough, but how will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our viewers and the assassins there will guide you. 
That fixes Torres and Rogers. But Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. Might take months to find him. Or years. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, do not be afraid to call on your quartermaster for aid. Quartermaster! What's our present course? Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bonnie. Call it out. Weigh anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica. 